All right. Hey guys, Mr. Kyle, Myers Mathematics, and let's just jump right into it. So today is, uh, well, we're going back to the series that I've been working on, which is Algebra 1, uh, specifically like CUDA software worksheets. And the point of the series, I don't always mention this, but the point of the series real quick is just so that you have all of this stuff um, available to you so that when you are assigned one of these worksheets by your teacher, or if you're just working out one of these for practice, then you know how to work out all of these problems and a couple different ways to do some of these problems that might be helpful because you might be only uh, taught one way and maybe another way would be more helpful. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, we've done a lot of stuff like this in the past, so I'm going to start off a little bit slower like I normally do, just kind of explain what's going on. And then as I go, unless I'm coming up on this something new, I'm going to, you know, continue to work out the problems a little faster as we go. Okay, so let's start with number one. So if we're solving a two-step equation, um, if you're solving a one-step equation, right, let's just start with one step. So if you're doing one step, then there's really two things you do, right? You identify the operation, identify the operation, Okay, so that means like plus, minus, times, divide, that sort of thing. Identify the operation. And then you do the opposite. Do the opposite. Do the opposite uh, to both sides, right? So to both sides. Okay, so we only have a one-step equation to solve. You only need to do those two things. That's it. Identify the operation and do the opposite. So um, when there's multiple steps, so it could be two, could be more than two, you're going to have to kind of add some stuff to this, okay? So what we need to do is we need to identify all the operations, okay? So in one-step equations, recap from, from the last video in the series, we need to identify all the operations. Identify all operations. Okay. Then we use the opposite of PEMDAS. The opposite of PEMDAS is sad map. Sad map. Okay. Opposite of PEMDAS is sad map. This is how we figure out which things we should do first. And I'm putting little bars here because subtraction and addition are kind of the same thing. Two sides of the same coin, if you will. Uh, division and multiplication, same difference. And then uh, exponents are kind of its own little category and then parentheses after that. So we want to identify all operations and then identify which one we focus on first. So this helps us to figure out which one we focus on first. So identify which operation to start with, start with, and it's a little sloppy, but you can probably still see that. Identify which operation to start with. Okay, then once we've done that, you do all the operations. Do the opposite of all operations, because if you don't do all of the operations, then it's not going to solve. Okay, so with all the steps in mind here, little, little notes off to the side here. Identify all the operations. So there's Dividing by 4, and we're adding 2. Okay? So then we, step 2, we figure out which one do we start with. Well, we would start with adding or subtracting. We're adding 2 to both sides. So then, step 3, do the opposite of that. So I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides. Okay? So A over 4 equals 6 minus 2 is 4. Got it? And then we're also dividing by 4, all right? So we do that next. The opposite of dividing by 4 is timesing by 4. Okay? And then the 4s cancel. So it might not look like the 4s cancel. Um, I've had um, some students say, like, oh, like, it looks like they're not, like, canceling because the 4 is, like, kind of in the middle and this 4 is, like, down here. Like, don't worry about where they are. Just kind of stick with the program. You know what I mean? Like, we're dividing by 4, so just trust that, Multiplying by 4 is the opposite of dividing by 4. And then you just slash them. Just slash it when it goes away. 4 times 4 is 16. So A is 16. All right, let's try it again. So identify the operations. 
we are um, minusing six technically, so it's negative six plus x over four. But it's it's minusing six. Like if I were to switch these around, it would be like x over four minus six. So, um, yeah, there's a plus in between them, but I'm actually minusing six. So minus six, and then dividing by four. Okay. So identify which operation to start with using SADMEP. Okay. Subtraction or addition first. So we add six to both sides. Add six, add six. Negative five plus six is one. Um, I'm not going to get too much into how to uh, add, subtract integers, multiplying, dividing integers as well. I'm not going to get too much into that just because um, it was covered in another video where we had to add, subtract, multiply, and divide negative numbers. So what we're going to do then is we're just going to kind of, um, I'm not going to explain that as much going through these problems here. It's going to be negative 5 plus 6 is 1, and there's not going to be a whole lot of explanation on that. So if you did want some explanation on how to add, subtract, multiply, divide integers, um, at the end of the video, you can just scrub to the end of the video if you want and click on that playlist. There's a playlist that takes you to all of the videos in this series, and there will be a, like a better explanation of of multiplying, dividing, adding, subtracting integers. So with that, uh, we just did that part. So then we do the opposite of dividing by 4, which is multiplying by 4. So multiply by 4, x equals 4, and there we go. All right, so I always do this, but I like to switch colors as we go along here. I start with blue because blue is my favorite color, and then kind of work our way around. So here we've got two things. We are uh, multiplying by 9, and we're subtracting 7. Okay, we're going to subtract 7, or we're going to do the subtract 7 part first. Opposite of that is plus, plus. So negative 7 plus 7 is actually 0. Now it goes away here, but that's because 9x plus 0 is 9x. Over here, I can't just get rid of the equation, okay? So this is a really tempting thing to do, but just because it slashes and goes away on the left side doesn't mean it does that on the right side, even though we're doing the same operation, because... On the left side and on the right side, it results in the same number. Okay, it results in the same number because negative 7 plus 7 is 0. So on the left side, it's actually 9x plus 0. And on the right side, it's, you know, 0. Because there's something else we're adding or subtracting to 0. Okay, but since it's an equation and the equation just can't magically go away, I have to have that placeholder there. Okay, so then the opposite of times is divide slash 0 divided by any number is 0, and that's the answer. Okay. Over here we are adding 4 and dividing by 5. We do adding and subtracting first, so the opposite of 4 is minus 4, so I'm minus 4 on both sides here, so negative 4 equals n over 5. And then the opposite of divide by 5 is to multiply by 5, so multiply by 5, that slashes, n is equal to negative 20, and there we go. Okay. So over here then, we have divide by 20 and minus 5. The opposite of minus 5 is plus 5. So actually, let's stop with that right there. Let's put that right here. Plus 5, plus 5. So then that's 1 equals r over 20. The opposite of divide by 20 is multiply by 20. So I do that on both sides, and r equals 20, All right? So like I said, I've been going a little bit faster. Number six, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go a little slower, because when we talked about sad map, sad map, the parentheses, p stands for parentheses. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know what this was coming from, it was coming from PEMDAS. PEMDAS is parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. It's the order of operations. SADMEP is the order of operations for solving. PEMDAS is the order of operations for simplifying. So I don't, didn't really explain that at the beginning. So maybe you already got that and you're like, yeah, no doubt. I'm, I'm already with you. And maybe you were like, oh, thanks for clarifying. So if I needed to clarify and that helped, you're welcome. You can like the video now. But anyway, so um, SADMEP. P stands for parentheses, but more generally, G is what it should be, okay? So if you've ever heard of GEMDAS, 
or if you're already using Gemdos, let me know in the comments. But the opposite of that then would be sad Meg. It's a Megalodon that's sad. So the reason why G makes more sense here is because there's all kinds of different groupings. And I actually have a whole video on this. Um, maybe I'll put a link in the description. But um, Gemdos is better. Sad Meg is better because it's more general. Because on number six, we actually have a type of grouping. This right here is being grouped. And on the bottom, it's being grouped as well, but there's only one number down there, so we don't really have to worry about it too much. Okay, so if it helps, if you don't like Jimdos, if you're like, oh, that's weird, why do I need Jimdos? Well, I mean, what you could do instead of using Jimdos is you could just say, okay, well, I know this is a type of grouping, so I'm going to put a parenthesis around it, so that way I remember to do that last. Okay, so there's a couple different operations here. There's plus five, and there's divided by six, but... The plus five is in parentheses. It's in parentheses. Which means we're going to do that last, actually. Because inside of a parentheses, you could have a whole nother sad map. Just like inside of a parentheses for PEMDAS, you could have a whole nother PEMDAS. Okay. So when you're doing sad map, you say parentheses for last. And then whatever's inside the parentheses, you unlock the parentheses, like you open a treasure chest. And then you have sad map all over again. Okay, so then here's what's going to happen. We're actually going to do the divide by six thing first, because here's dividing and multiplying. The parentheses plus would be here or here, depending on how you look at it. I circled both because we're dividing by six, but in order to do the opposite operation, I multiply by six. So I went ahead and circled both just in case there was any confusion like, oh, but we're going to be multiplying. Why wouldn't you circle the multiply? Well, I circled both. So we're going to do multiply by six first. Okay. So I didn't want to just do that without any explanation because then you'd be like, wait, what? But this whole time you've been saying sad map. Yes, sad map. But inside the parentheses, there's another sad map. So sometimes we do things seemingly a little out of order. So we're going to multiply by 6 on both sides. And let me get rid of this because this is just just so happens to be number 6, so I don't want to get that confusing us here. Slash that. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. And we have 5 plus x. And then we can subtract 5 on both sides. Okay, so then x equals negative 11. Whew, okay. So we can do it that way. Um, I'm just trying to think. There's... what. What's another way we could do it? Because I want to show you a couple different ways to do all these different problems. And then if one method resonates more with you than another, then you can stick with that. Here's another way we could do this, actually. So when you have one denominator and multiple numerators, you can split it into several fractions. So this method might not make as much sense, or maybe you like this method better. Let me know in the comments which one you like better, 6 or 7. But this would be 9 over 3, which is 3. And then I don't have to deal with all that weird, like, sad map inside of sad map thing, okay? So then I just, um, let me let me move this up here. B over 3 plus 3 equals 8, okay? So then I subtract 3 on both sides. B over 3 equals 5, and then I times by 3 on both sides. Okay, so you could do it that way as well. Or we could have uh, multiplied by 3 on both sides first, and you would have gotten 8 times 3, which is 24, and then subtract 9 on both sides and then get 15 that way as well. Okay, number 8. There's also a couple different ways to do number 8 because we can either distribute first, which is actually PEMDAS, not SADMEP. Because when you're doing SADMEP, you're solving. You're doing things on both sides. When you're doing PEMDAS, in the context of an equation, you're only doing things on one side at a time. That's how you can tell the difference between whether you're actually doing PEMDAS or SADMAP. Here we're doing PEMDAS. This is the M in PEMDAS. So I'm going to do it this way. But inevitably, when we see another one of these, and it looks like we do on number 12 here, I'll do it a different way and show you a different method, and then you can decide for yourself which one you like better. And let me know 
once you figure out the difference here between 8 and 12, I'm going to work out number 8 and number 12 a little differently. They're the same kind of question. Let me know which one you like better in the comments. I'm kind of curious. But here I'm going to distribute, okay? So 2n plus 10 equals negative 2. Okay, so I'm assuming here that you're familiar with distributing. You multiply the number on the outside by each number on the inside separated by a plus or a minus. Okay, so now we've got this, and we've got timesing by 2 and adding 10. So I'm going to do the opposite of that. Oh, I put 11 there, I meant to put 10. There we go, 2n equals negative 12. And then, oh, sorry, slash the wrong one. And then we uh, divide by 2 on both sides. All right, so that equals negative 6. Negative 6 is the answer. And there we go. So like I said, when I get to 12, I'll do it a little bit differently, and you can decide which one you like better. Oop. Sometimes it does that random scroll thing. Okay, so I'm going to stop doing the thing where I show you which ones I'm doing first off to the side, um, just for sake of starting to go a little faster here. So we're going to subtract by 1 on both sides first. So negative 9x equals negative 81. Divide both sides by negative 9. And also, if I'm going too fast, remember, you can you can change the speed on the YouTube video. So if I'm going too slow, speed me up. If I'm going too fast, slow me down. All right? Remember, you're in control of watching this YouTube video here. Boom, boom. Negative 6 plus 10, that's positive 4. 10 over 2. Multiply both sides by 2. And then that equals 8. There we go. All right, so the next one, let's switch colors again here. So we're going to subtract by 2 on both sides. Negative 4 equals V over 4. This is kind of tempting to divide almost because you're like, oh, but 4 would divide by 4 evenly, but we're not dividing. We're multiplying. Just stick with the opposite operation. Okay, so now we're on 12. Instead of distributing, right, so instead of taking the 12 and timesing it by the X and then timesing it by the 5, what we're going to do is we're going to treat this like the sad map thing again. So sad map inside of that P is another sad map or sad mag. Okay. Um, but we do have parentheses here, so we don't need sad mag necessarily. You could use it. I like sad mag better, but I know more people are typically familiar with PEMDAS and sad map. So um, yeah, actually let me know. I'm kind of curious. Do a little poll. Let me know. In the comments, if you are more familiar with SADMAP and PEMDAS, or I should say PEMDAS because most people are, don't normally do SADMAP, if you're more familiar with PEMDAS or GEMDAS, let me know which one you're more familiar with in the comments. I'm asking for a lot of feedback today, sorry. We have two things. We have um, multiply, multiply and divide, but then inside the parentheses, we have adding, subtracting. So according to SADMAP here, we would do the 12 first. Divide by 12. You don't have to distribute first. Instead, we could just divide by negative 12, and that would be negative 12, actually. So then we've done that step. We're inside the parentheses now. And then we subtract 5. The opposite of add 5 is subtract 5. So then x equals negative 17. So let me know which one you liked better. Was 8, did that make more sense? 8, distributing, you're more comfortable with distributing. Number 12, I think that was a little faster. All right, so just kind of depends. Are you, do you like the distributing first, makes more sense, or do you want to just get the answer faster, so you like the second method better? I don't know. None of this stuff that we're looking at right here is really that different than what we've already been solving, so I'm going to go and just solve these a little bit faster. Again, if I'm going too fast, you can always slow me down. Oop, that's a negative divided by negative, which is a positive. You can slow me down or speed me up, just a reminder. Um, also, another reminder, while I'm working out these problems here, um, I have a free guide called The Five Math Mistakes Everyone Makes and How to Avoid Them. It's on my website, myersmathematics.com, link in the description below. And it's just a guide on how to, you know, identify what math mistakes you're making and how to avoid them. Um, I was kind of stuck on this for a second here. This would be 19, I want to say. Yeah, 19 looks right. If I get that wrong, let me know, because I'm actually going to look at the answers right after this. So um, let me know if I got that one wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's 19. 
So minus 7, minus 7. And your teacher might have you doing these without a calculator. They might have you doing these with a calculator. Just kind of depends on what they're trying to prep you for. If it's for prepping for a certain test where you have to not use a calculator, then it makes sense for them to ask you. And it's not really because they're mean. It's just because they want to get you ready. But if they don't have to prep you for a test where you can't use a calculator, then it's just kind of like their idea whether they let you use calculators or not. Some teachers are more old fashioned and they want you to know how to use calculators. Or sorry, uh, not use calculators. Right? Maybe they'll, they'll let you use an abacus. Right? If they don't let you use a, a calculator and you think it's because they're older, ask them if you can use an abacus. <laughs> and if you're not sure what that is, you can look it up. It's like a it's like an OG calculator is what it is. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to do the SADMEP method on this one again. Okay, multiply by negative 16 first. Then we unlock what's in the parentheses there. Minus 5, minus 5. N equals 11. There we go. All right, next, uh, we're adding 10. And again, I'm going a little bit faster here, but that's because we're not really seeing anything new that I need to slow down and explain. Everything here is stuff that we've already talked about in detail on the previous problems as far as method goes. So there you go. Um, I kind of like this one because it does divide by 10 pretty nicely, so I'm going to do the sad map method on this one. So then we get that. Add 9, add 9. And then k is equal to 8. So we get that. Here, just straight up sad map stuff. Add 1, add 1. m over 9 equals negative 1 times by negative 9. And once we get to the, to the ending problems here, and we're starting to now, I'm going to go ahead and start not showing my in-between steps so you can see what it looks like when you get to the point where you're able to solve these pretty much as fast as you could possibly solve them. All right, so I'm going to just not show the in-between steps here. All right, so that was pretty fast. All right, I subtracted by 9 on both sides, then I divided by 9 on both sides. All right, here I um, can divide by 7, and I believe that goes in evenly um, 12 times. K equals 3. All right, so once you get the hang of this, you can actually go pretty quickly. Last two problems. I'll scroll down. Well, actually, I'm going to not scroll down just yet, because if I scroll down anymore, you'll be able to start to see the answers. And I don't want to distract you just yet. But, of course, you can always skip ahead if you want. You can always skip ahead to those answers. Multiply by negative. Oh, I said I wasn't going to show my in-between steps, and then I ended up doing that. Oh, well. We'll, uh, we'll race on the last one if you want. On your mark. Get set. Is that? Hmm. Eight, two, seven, twenty-seven. I want to say. All right. So if you had a calculator, you might have beat me on that one because I don't. I don't think I would have gotten that. Uh, I think I would have gotten that a lot faster if I was using a calculator. But yeah. So that's what I got. I got seventeen. Not hundred percent on that one. Like ninety-ish percent. Ninety-five-ish. But uh, well, I guess we'll find out because the last one here is 17. So let's remember that. And let's go ahead and look at the answers here. I'm going to go ahead and scroll. If it'll let me. Come on. There we go. Okay. Aha. All right. So here's the answers. One, two, three, four, and so on and so on. Okay. I'm going to let that scroll. But that's pretty much it for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you want to see another video like this or like something else entirely let me know that in the comments as well and that way i can prioritize those kinds of videos in the future looks like i did get that last one right and that's it for today i hope you guys have an awesome day and i'll see you again in another video real soon